Chapter 13 Complex Numbers The objectives of this chapter are to solve AC circuits using complex number theory, to display rectangular and polar waveforms, and to determine complex power. What are complex numbers? In general terms, a complex number is any number that includes a real component and an imaginary component with the imaginary term prefixed by the square root of minus 1 abbreviated by j. As shown below, voltage, current, and impedance operators and even frequency can be complex. In fact, when using complex analysis, everything is complex, all circuit variables and all circuit operators. In a manner similar to phasers, it is helpful to visualize complex values in the complex plane. The figure below shows a voltage vector plotted in the complex plane. The x-axis is the real axis and the y-axis is the imaginary axis. As with phasers, the current and voltage vectors can be visualized as spinning counterclockwise in a circle at the frequency rate. The instantaneous values are obtained by projections onto the real axis. When we substitute a complex frequency defined earlier into the time domain differential equations summarized in chapters 7 and 8, we generate the complex frequency domain operators listed below, where all voltage and current values are peak. What is new is the J factor associated with the inductive and capacitive reactants. It is this J factor that determines vector rotation or phase shift. When complex inductive reactants, JXL, operates on complex current, it rotates the resulting complex voltage vector 90 degrees forward. Conversely, complex capacitive reactants, negative JXC, rotates the complex vector 90 degrees backwards. The voltage magnitude changes according to the magnitude of XL and XC. Quite often the mathematics can be simplified and the result can be better interpreted by using the equations listed below to convert any vector between rectangular and polar form. Why do we use complex numbers in the solution of circuits? Because they simplified the mathematical analysis of circuits, let's consider the simple and familiar RC circuit shown below. To solve this circuit by hand, we follow the three steps listed below. Step 1. Place negative J in front of the capacitive reactants. Step 2. Write down the circuit solution as if all components were resistors. Step 3. Solve and switch to polar format. Using these three equations, we can plot graphs of voltage and current by hand for later comparison to our waveform generated plots. However, since this can be quite time consuming, let's just settle for the current and phase at a specific frequency, the break frequency. The break frequency, Fb, is determined as the frequency in which the amplitude drops by 3 dB, or the phase of, neg of 45 degrees. Using the equation, we find that the break frequency is 1592 Hz. As a final step, we have the option of generating the circuit magnitude in decibels, shown with the formula below the last one on this page. This table shows both the polar form of current and the rectangular form of current in magnitude and phase, or imaginary side and real side, using the formulas it lists. To plot various rectangular and polar values under capture, we simply make use of the operators listed below. As a special convenience, each of these operators offers a corresponding advanced marker. 
When using these operators, remember the following. When no operator is used, capture displays the polar form magnitude by default. Taking the phase of the quotient of two trace variables returns the phase angle in the degrees between them. The phase of any trace variable is always measured relative to the voltage source, which is always zero phase. And when gra graphing real power, simply plot the real part of the instantaneous voltage times the instantaneous current, or simply determine the power in each resistive component by I squared R and sum them together. With this circuit, we will de demonstrate how to use the markers function of capture by pressing the current marker on the toolbar we'll first set it and show the current of this circuit using the start frequency of 10 hertz and frequency of 100 kilohertz points per decade is 10 we will run our circuit and you can see the current automatically pops up into the screen with the correct X and Y axis labels. Next with this RC circuit we will add another marker, the special marker under markers advanced and phase of current and to rotate these markers you either right click and select rotate or click control R on your keyboard to rotate them and we'll run this circuit again and you can see it pops up our the last step of this circuit is to add in two more markers our real and imaginary parts the real current goes in first again with rotating the marker so it fits on that same node and then we place the imaginary part of the current to that same node. Now we're done placing the markers, we'll run the same circuit again and you'll be able to see what the real and imaginary parts of the current are as well as the previous two, the voltage and the polar form. And this, these waveforms can be checked with your hand calculations by using the cursor format. And that, that is all this chapter 13 complex numbers with real and imaginary parts.